and Bites, this is Kaku Joe. <laughs> hey, Bits and Bites, let's Kaku Joe. Um, it's, I'm back from Oklahoma. It's been a week now. I had a good time there. I had a good time. I, uh, I didn't really do much. There's not really much to do in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but I mean, unless you want to eat a bunch of food and drink a bunch. I visited family mostly, so I mean, it was nice to be surrounded by people I haven't seen in a while. You know, Lily got to see our grandma. She was so happy about that. They just hung out like the entire time. I got out, got to go out to my grandpa's his farm place and go. He got a donkey and a mule, and the mule was already named when they got her, and her name was Lily. So that's. I'm not gonna think too deeply about that one. That's a destiny, in some form. And I'm more of a just go with it. Mule named Lily. What? It probably doesn't mean anything. Probably. But it does, though. And just ignore that. That's, um, because we're still settling back in and trying to get back into the swing of things and get everything going. It's definitely not because it's been sitting there for a while and I'm just not, don't want to do it. Also, also, you might notice I'm a little stuffed up. It's because, you know, one of my, like, one of my little cousins was sick. He got Lily sick. Lily got me sick. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's strep throat, but I'm pushing through it. I did all my things to make sure it doesn't, it sounds as, as decent as possible. But like five minutes ago, I was like, ch it sounded like a chain smoke. So let's get this, let's get this going before it comes back. I'm glad to be back in Portland. It, it's been, it was nice to get away from, from the office for a bit. Because you know when I'm, when you're on the bike as often, as, as often as, and as for as long as I am, you're working all, like almost all day, every single day. You know, what do they say? Art, art can't exist in a vacuum. And I guess that's true. Is that, you know, just, I just get kind of like brain dead and it's nice to be back. I'm ready. I'm, go I'm ready to, to go. So there should be a, a comic up today and there should be also video. Assuming Kagujo, myself, did all that. Did we do that, Erk? Oh, I hope that was a good answer. But I didn't spend the entire time playing video games. No, wait, that's that's what I ex I did the entire time. I saw family, but I mostly played. Man, I'm so jet lagged right now. Like I didn't know what that word meant, but now I know. I got Story of Seasons. Cause what else am I gonna do in Oklahoma? Uh, if you're unfamiliar, I feel like I feel like the story bears telling because Story of Seasons is a tragic tale. Basically, the P uh, Natsume, who published the Harvest Moon games up until recently, they created and therefore own the name Harvest Moon. And then when uh, Marvelous, the people who developed it, decided to uh, publish it in America through their their own in-house American company, Exceed, they lost that name. So now Har Story of Seasons is, is the new Harvest Moon. It's uh. And then the actual Harvest Moon that's out right now, a lot the the Lost Valley or whatever it's called, it's not. It's it's not made by the same team. It's just the name is owned. And I hear it's I hear Lost Valley isn't all that good either. So that's a that's a pity. But the problem is, I try. I went to Walmart. Right. I'm sorry, but I wanted it real bad. I went to Walmart. Went to Target, and I went to Toys R Us. Toys R Us didn't even have it. None of them had it. I was like, wow. And because I remember from when I worked in retail. Uh, they, you know, retailers go down this list and, you know, they, they can only hold so many games and so they look for games that, you know, they think will, will get a decent amount of buzz. With the loss of the, of the, of the household name Harvest, well, you know, nearly household, the household name Harvest Moon, they don't have that to, to single them out anymore. They, they just think it's just, they must think it's just some crap third party game or something like that. And so they just skipped it. So I had to download it off the eShop, and thank God for the eShop, or else that game would have just fallen into obscurity. It's pretty fun. I'm on spring 14 or 15. I really wanted to Let's Play it. I really did, but it's 201. It's 245 dollars to add a capture board to my to my 3DS. And two, the guy isn't even accepting. The, uh, he's not even doing that right now. He said it's it's sold out, meaning he's tired of doing it for right now. Uh, and I don't know what he's gonna do. I almost got it. I actually went on the internet today and I was like, you know what? I almost bought a new 3DS XL this weekend, so if I'm going to spend $200, why not just slap down $50 more and get the capture board? But th he's not doing it. Apparently, uh, you can also uh, send it to Japan and have it done there. But I'm told that those break a lot, and the customer service, uh, if it does get, if it does break, is garbage. So I'm just hopefully it does it soon. I'm about to just. I have a clamp. Where is my clamp? Here it is. I have a. I have a clamp. For my phone, so I mean, I'm about to just like straight up just clamp this to the desk and hold the 3DS and be like, here, this is what's happening. It would look like garbage though, so. Now let's move on to the segment known as Bits and Bites of the Bits and Bites. Let's just, let's just keep that name, whatever. The last episode of Gravity Ghost, I was, I announced a giveaway and it's been a little over a month now and so now anyway, people who had entered, I ran your name through the random leak generator and editing room, Kakajo, what did they win? Well, we know what they won, but like, who, who won? Who won? 
Zandonian Games. I will send you a message on YouTube, I guess. Or just, you know, comment here and give me your Steam name. Whatever you feel comfortable with. You know that Minecraft straw poll uh, I, I announced with the last Let's Talk of Joe? And it was on the Reddit thing? Well, the results are in, and they are as follows. Coming in up on in last is nine for Fresh Quest with Core. I'm sure he's fine with that. He probably doesn't like doing that anyway. 19 votes for Minecraft with Lily. Uh, that's good. That's cute. She she liked it doing that. And the winner with a whopping 43 votes is the standard series with, you know, Core and myself just in a new mod pack, which is fine. I actually recorded already six episodes of a new series with Core and myself in a new world with a new custom mod pack focusing on a, a new type of tech mod. I don't want to focus on any mod that I've done before because how many... Uh, is new stuff. So expect that soon. I still need to finish up Gudermine. I mean, by finish up, I mean, I don't know what I meant because we're just getting started with Gudermine and I plan on trying to make that a new full series. Like, you know, like I did with Majora's Mask. We might do like 20 episodes, then take a break and then come back with 20 more episodes, just like I did with Majora's Mask. And we got some fan art from a bits a B and B VL Doug over on Reddit. It's a picture of Lily on a big curb. <laughs> Thanks, VL Doug. Uh, Lily wanted to print it out and uh, I don't know where, where she where she put it. It's probably, she probably drew on top of it. Hopefully you're okay with it. It's like putting salt on the chef's thing, which, which I don't get. I like to undersalt stuff so that way people can just add to it. You know, you can always add more, but you can't extract less unless this is, I mean, this is the future. This is the, the universe where the future sucks. After all, it's 2015 and we don't have any of those cool things we were supposed to have by now. So maybe in another universe, they would have a salt extractor and this is pointless. And now for that dreaded segment called garbage. Um, YouTube recently updated that they released their new API. If you don't know what an API, what I, API means, look it up because I don't know either. But it's basically like this like intermediary d developing language between things. Anyway, they changed it to API v3, which freaking messed up my, the code on my website that shows the latest video down below the comic. Uh, now it just says like a bad thing. And now it should be as simple as just, you know, grabbing the pulling from an RSS feed and post finding the latest video and posting but no now it's really complex and I don't think stuff needs to be updated unless it's helping people in the long run and I just don't see how making the super proprietary system is gonna help I don't like it like it's just another part of Google's uh, attempt to take over the world they're gonna get to, at first it's device exclusivity then there's gonna be Google in my spinach just friggin Google all up in vitamin G. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching Bits and Bytes. Uh, again, comic should be up today over on Kakajomics.com. And a reminder that I will be streaming more often. I know I said this last last Let's Talk of Joe, but I forgot to say like the schedule. Because I mean, I didn't forget. I just there wasn't really much of a schedule there. As of now, it's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. Uh, but around, I start streaming around between like 11 and 12. Well, 11 p.m. to around 12 a.m. PST. So I know that's late. That's for the Night Owl crowd. If you're up and you just want to watch me play some games, the, the commentary is a little more sparse because it's nighttime. You know, the girls are asleep. This, this is basically around that time. It's when I play video games anyways. So I just said, hey, let's just stream it. Let's just turn every little piece of my life into Kakujomics. <laughs> just watch me play Harvest Moon Back to Nature. That's mostly what I'm playing right now. I would switch over to the new Harvest Moon, but again, cap capture board madness bonanzas. Uh, and then I'm also playing Batman Arkham Origins in anticipation of Arkham Knight. So I've already played the other, other two games, so... So yeah, go check me out doing that. Let's try to get partnered on Twitch and get our own special frickin', uh, our own Twitch emotes. Apparently, Frank or Face Z, you can, like, make your own Twitch emotes. I'm gonna see about doing that, because I want to be able to have, like, Kakutant, and the Party Bag, and Core, and all the other crap that I've spouted out that has become a thing. It's fun. I want to be more. I want to be there more on Twitch. So that's how that's gonna work. Hope to see you there. Kakujomics. Twitch.tv forward slash Kakujomics. See you then.